Robert Mueller deepens investigation into whether longtime Trump adviser Roger Stone had advanced knowledge of WikiLeaks plans to release hacked Democratic emails during the 2016 presidential race. In a news cycle where Donald Trump continues to dominate the headlines, Robert Mueller's name has noticeably disappeared in the last month. But Mueller's special counsel has continued to churn behind the scenes, specifically focusing in on longtime Trump adviser Roger Stone. The special counsel has spent dozens of hours trying to figure out if Stone really did have knowledge of Wikileaks plans to release hack Democratic emails before the 2016 presidential election. Stone himself claimed during the presidential campaign that he was in touch with Wikileaks founder Julian Assange. In August 2016, Stone predicted that Wikileaks would once again leak thousands of hacked emails from the Democratic Party. I actually have communicated with Assange, he bragged to a Republican group in Florida that month. A few weeks later, Stone tweeted that it would soon be Podesta's time in the barrel, seemingly referring to Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman John Podesta. Six weeks later, WikiLeaks unleashed dozens of stolen emails from Podesta's account. On October 2, Stone seemed to send out another warning, Wednesday at Hillary Clinton is done. Number WikiLeaks, he wrote. When nothing came on that Wednesday, October 5, Stone tweeted words of reassurance. Libs thinking Assange will stand down are wishful thinking. Payload coming number lock them up, he tweeted. Just two days later, the first batch of Podesta emails dropped and WikiLeaks continued to release more stolen emails almost every day before the election. But while he may have been full of boasts in 2016, Stone is now claiming that all his information came from either one-time friend Randy Credico or conspiracy theorist Jerome Corsi. Stone told The Washington Post that Credico, a liberal comedian, was his principal source regarding the allegedly hacked emails published by WikiLeaks. Credico discussed Stone's links to WikiLeaks on his own radio show, telling listeners that he had been in touch directly and indirectly with Julian Assange. I don't want to intimate in any way that I controlled or have influence with Assange because I do not, Stone, who was a guest on the show, interjected. We have a mutual friend, somebody we both trust, and therefore I am a recipient of pretty good information. Now Stone is claiming that the mutual friend was Credico and that he was in on the joke from the beginning. I certainly couldn't out Randy on his own radio show, Stone said. But the person I refer to is of course him. In September 2017, Stone said Credico was his WikiLeaks source in a letter to the House Intelligence Committee. Filmmaker David Lugo and attorney Tyler Nixon have also claimed that Credico claimed to be the source of Stone's information on WikiLeaks. Lugo showed the post one text in which Credico wrote, I knew Roger was going to name me sooner or later and so I told that you I'm the so-called back channel. But all of this has been denied by Credico who believes Stone set him up as a decoy to hide his own ties to Assange. Credico told the special counsel in September that Stone told him in 2016 that he had a secret back channel to WikiLeaks. I remember saying, Roger, I thought you had a back channel, Credico recalled. He said something to the effect of, yes, but I can't use him all the time. Stone initially denied he ever claimed to have a second WikiLeaks source and said Credico was a perjurer. But he later admitted to telling Credico in an email that he had a second source to WikiLeaks. Stone told The Post that he was receiving information about the Clintons in 2016 from Corsi, including information he said he based his Podesta tweet on. Corsi has likewise named himself as Stone's source for the Podesta tweet and claimed the pair had conversations about Clinton's chairman from August 14 to August 31, 2016. The conversations are now being investigated by Mueller. The conspiracy theorist appeared before the grand jury in September, and the FBI may interview his associates in the ongoing investigation. WikiLeaks and Assange have continued to deny that they have ever communicated with Stone. And Trump's longtime friend has remained staunch in his defense of the president and his opposition to Mueller. The special counsel pokes into every aspect of my life, seeking something he can use to pressure me, to silence me, and to try to induce me to testify against my friend Donald Trump he said in a recent fundraising video. This I will not do. When I say I won't roll on the president, what I mean is I will not be forced to make up lies to bring him down.